Hi everyone, this is Tom from Montac, and this is the weekly Montac Roundup. This is the first installment, and we'll be talking about all the matches that occurred over the past weekend, and discussing who won, how they did it, and what will be happening in the future regarding their future matchups. So we definitely had a lot of interesting matchups coming into this uh, week. We had SM Robo taking on Tailsuite. So that's the fifth ranked SM Robo taking on Tailsuite at second ranked. We had Charging Badger, who was fourth ranked, I believe, taking on the third ranked Shadow. And then we had Misfire, who was the sixth ranked, taking on an unranked Squishy. After that, we had a Fury Card Battle Zone, who was ranked seven, taking on an unranked World. And finally, we had two unranked players, Apocalyptic and Doozy. Now, Apocalyptic is Apocalyptic TCG, and Doozy is Cyber Brawl TCG on Instagram. So going through these matches, let's start off with the first match that occurred, which was SM Robo taking on Tailsuite. So this match started off quite good. Uh, Tailsuite did experience a bit of bricking at the beginning, but was able to work through a couple of bits of it. But throughout the entire match, Robo was able to maintain uh, the advantage and was able to get the win. Uh, big problems that Tailsuite had was he had too many uh, high cards. He had a lot of Divine Sword and Divine Shield in his hand and was unable to put them into his asset pile. Uh, Robo had switched from Sunwalker Angels to Pure Angels, while Tailsuite had not really made any changes to his Grand Final deck, so he was able to brick very similar to his Grand Final outing. Um, after this, uh, Tailsuite came to me and we were able to work out a way for him to completely restructure his deck, and now I believe he's going to be in a great position to get a win next weekend. Robo moved from 5th ranked to 3rd, and he'll now be taking on the winner of Badger and Shadow for the chance to take on Rich Potato. So that was definitely a very interesting match. Uh, it actually also moved Tailsweep to the uh, eighth position. So he did fall a bit, but I believe he'll be able to make his way back in the next weekend. The next match we had was the fourth ranked Charging Badger taking on the third ranked Shadow. So both players from the US came in this match with much, much better decks and were confident abilities to play them properly. A small mistake made by Shadow at the start of the match led to a large shift in momentum, allowing Badger to dictate the pace and push forward with the Sky Soldiers. Um, it was actually quite interesting. Badger, notoriously known for bricking in his matches, was able to completely reverse that. And Shadow, usually a quite a reliable player, uh, he actually had a lot of issues with his cards and started to brick. Um, he had a moment at the start where he used Bale's specialty to send Supreme Dragon Conqueror and a Gentleman Angel instead of Redeem Daniel Zachariah, which actually led to him not being able to bring out his Apex, which stopped his strategy completely. But in regards to the winner, Badger was able to pull it out and maintain dominance. And he'll actually be taking on Robo next week to prove he's a deserving contender. The dark horse of the competition as well, with his three match win streak now, he's definitely not going to let this momentum shift. Uh, it was definitely one of the better matches of the weekend. Uh, after that, we had the unranked World taking on the seventh ranked Fury Card Battle Zone. It definitely started off very competitive. Uh, World is actually our youngest player ever. Uh, he's around about 10 years old, so he's actually, not many people thought he was going to do very well in this match, but he actually ended up winning it. Um, he was actually able to hold his own throughout the entire match, but there was a point where Fury Card had to leave and forfeit due to personal issues. Uh, Fury Card had his normal Sunwalker Angels, and I think I believe World had Sunwalker Mistress was more about that, so it was a very defensive Sunwalkers, but Mistress is starting to see a lot more popularity as well. Um, definitely an interesting match. I believe Fury Card will be able to bounce back from this. He's had quite a few couple hiccups throughout his matches, but he's definitely got the ability to get back up there. And that actually got World to 6th uh, ranked. Now we have the unranked Squishy taking on the 6th ranked Misfire. And an actual amazing turn of events, this was the closest match of the weekend. Uh, Squishy had pure Sunwalkers running a little bit of Mistress as well, so that was definitely a deck that saw more, bit more popularity. And Misfire actually went pure Angel with this this time. Uh, the match went all the way to extra time. And it was incredibly back and forth. There was even a moment where Mistfire had to send one of his rage releases. He had too many in his deck, so he actually had to send it to the Expel pile, but was not disqualified. He was just given a disadvantage considering he was only able to play with a 29 card deck. But even after all of this, Squishy was able to hold his own and it was a tie. Now this pushed Mistfire up to the fourth ranking and Squishy is now ninth ranked. But that's not all. We had a final match between the unranked Doozy and the unranked Apocalyptic. Both were rookies coming into it, and uh, Apocalyptic was able to maintain advantage throughout most of the match. You know, he used the Tarotian Angels, and so did Doozy, actually. It was quite an interesting uh, weekend. You got Tarotian Angels and Masked Mistress of the Stars that actually 
uh, became the more popular ones. Uh, there was another match booked for this weekend, but it got moved to Monday, so it will not be included in the ladder for this week, but that was uh, unranked Crowler taking on the 8th ranked Shadow Galaxy Wolf. So with those changes, the leaderboard has actually changed quite a bit. Because Shadow Wolf was not able to get in a match before the end of the weekend, she will actually be off the top eight. So reading now, we will have from number one all the way to number 14. So number one, we have Rich Potato on six points. Number two, we have Charging Badger on four points. Number three, SM Robo on four points. Number four, Misfire on two points. Number five, Apocalyptic on two points. Number six, World with two points. Number seven, Shadow with two points. Number eight, Tail Sweep with two points. Coming in at number nine, we have Squishy with one point. Number 10, Crowler with no points. 11, we have Shadow Galaxy Wolf with negative one. Number 12, we have Doozy with also a negative one. We have 13, Albin, negative one. And finally, 14th place, we have Fury Card Battle Zone at negative two. So the ladder has definitely changed a large amount from last week. Uh, last week, we had Shadow and Tail Sweep actually occupying the second and third spots. Um, we actually had, let me just double check that here. Yeah, we actually had Tail Sweep in second and Shadow in third, but now they've both dropped uh, Tail Sweep to eighth and Shadow to seventh. So it's definitely a major change. Charging Badger in the matter of three weeks from going 0-2, so losing his first two matches, has won his next three and turned it around and going from eighth place, he has rocketed to second place. So I'm very excited to see how he's gonna do against this match against Robo. Um, it's definitely very exciting. We actually have our first, we actually had a couple new countries joining us this week. We had Romania and Vietnam. We had Doozy from Vietnam, we had Crowler from Romania, and we also have Apocalyptic from Romania. So that's always great to see and we're very happy for them to be joining and uh, coming on board. So anyone, um, definitely predictions for next week. Rich Potato will not be playing anything. His points are, you have to be within two points to be versing anyone. And currently it's been set up that Charging Badger will be taking on Robo for the chance to take on Rich Potato. After that, Mistwire could be possibly taking on anybody within that top eight. Uh, Tail Sweet will be probably be taking on somebody unranked after his loss. Um, but we'll just have to see how that's all gonna be going. Definitely a lot of potential in that top eight and a lot of newcomers coming through outside of it as well. So I'm definitely very, very excited to see how that's all gonna go. But anyway, um, top players to look out for in the next week is definitely gonna be Squishy, even though he only tied. This was his second match ever. He's not a card game player at all, and he's maintained, he's actually done incredibly well in his first match. Um, World also, very young, but was still able to do very well in his first match. Um, definitely misfires. he's coming up the ranks. He definitely needs about two more wins to get up near Potato. Um, but yeah, we definitely have a lot of contenders coming for Potato. And of course, like I said, Charging Badger and SM Robo, two veterans at this point, coming up to verse each other, take on Potato. Um, regardless of who Potato will be versing, it will not be an easy match, and I expect it to go an extra time. But anyway, that was the weekly Montac Roundup. I will be giving you guys these weekly updates every week, and I hope you all enjoyed. Have a good one. This has been Tom.